Dear friends, try to recall our lives over the past few years. Have you ever felt that time is passing strangely fast? Since 2012, we may have witnessed many major events, things that seem to happen right before our eyes. Yet when we look back, over a decade has already passed. In the blink of an eye since hearing the rumors of the end of the world, 12 years have gone by. The pandemic, which began in January 2020, feels like it happened just yesterday. Yet each experience, each loss from that time, remains deeply etched in our memories, like a dream from which we have yet to awaken. The person you once spent time with may no longer be by your side, but the memories you shared remain vivid as if they happened only yesterday. The neighborhood children seem to grow faster every day, maturing at a pace that seems quicker than before. All of this contributes to the feeling that time is racing forward, eluding our grasp. Have you ever wondered why this sensation occurs? Is it an illusion crafted by our brain or is time genuinely changing? Today, let's explore whether time really is speeding up. If we analyze this from a scientific perspective, much of our perception of time depends on our memory. Have you ever noticed that as a child, a year felt like it lasted forever? But as you get older, time seems to shorten? This happens because our brains have a fixed memory storage space. Imagine each person's memory as a one meter long tape. When you're one year old, that memory tape only holds one year of experiences. So each moment is recorded in detail. But when you're 50, that same tape must store 50 years of experiences. Each year now occupies a much smaller portion, about two centimeters. This shrinking space for each memory creates the sensation of time passing more quickly as we age. However, this memory-based theory doesn't fully explain why many people feel that time has noticeably sped up since 2012. Why 2012 specifically? That was also the year of the famous Mayan prophecy about the end of the world. Could this rumor have influenced our perception of time's flow? The Mayans had five renowned predictions. The downfall of the Mayan civilization, the invention of cars and airplanes, World War II, the rise of Hitler and the world's end on December 20th, 2012. Although no apocalypse actually occurred in 2012, the theory of parallel universes offers an intriguing explanation. According to this theory, we could be living in a different universe where the apocalypse didn't happen, while another parallel universe may have faced it. In the realm of quantum physics, time is not simply a continuous flow, but may be a collection of coexisting quantum states. Some researchers even suggest that time might not exist as we traditionally perceive it. Rather, it could be a product of human consciousness observing the change of matter. Scientists and philosophers like Carlo Rovelli, a famous theoretical physicist, have proposed that time may only be an illusion, an attempt by humans to arrange events in a sequence. In this view, Time could be an overlapping of states that we choose to recognize. Each decision you make could create a new branch of the universe. So what if the world did indeed experience an apocalypse in 2012 in a parallel universe, and we are merely consciousness shifted to a new timeline where it didn't happen? If that's the case, perhaps our sense of time speeding up is due to memories carried over from the universe that ceased to exist. This may sound like science fiction, but it's a plausible explanation for the strange feeling many have had over recent years. Additionally, there's another phenomenon called the Mandela Effect. This is when a large group of people remembers an event or detail incorrectly, but in the same way. For example, many people recall Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, 
but he actually passed away in 2013. How can so many people misremember the same thing? Could this be a trace of a parallel world that we once experienced but no longer exists? Einstein's theory of relativity also offers another explanation for time. Have you noticed that time seems to fly when you're doing something you enjoy, but drags on when you're engaged in something you dislike? According to Einstein, time is relative and can change depending on the circumstances. At this point, it seems that our sense of time passing quickly could result from a combination of factors, from our brain's memory to the impact of major events to scientific theories about multiverses and quantum mechanics. What do you think about this feeling? Is time truly speeding up or is it merely an illusion created by our brains? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.